The Chevrolet Aravet is a concept car created by the Chevrolet division of General Motors, beginning life as Experimental Project 882, XP882. It has a mid-engine configuration using a transverse mounting of its V8 engine. Zora Arcus Duntov's engineers originally built two XP882S during 1969, but John DeLorean, Chevrolet's general manager, canceled the program because it was impractical and costly. But when Ford announced plans to sell the De Tomaso Pantera through Lincoln Mercury dealers, DeLorean ordered one XP882 cleaned up for display at the 1970 New York Auto Show. In 1972, DeLorean authorized further work on the XP882 chassis and gave it a new project code, XP895, a near-identical body in aluminum alloy that resembled the XP895 was constructed and became the Reynolds aluminum car. Two of the Chevrolet Vega two-rotor engines were joined together as a four-rotor, 420 horsepower, 310 kilowatts engine, which was used to power XP895. The XP895 was first shown in late 1973. Another Corvette concept, XP897 GT, also appeared in 1973, which used a two-rotor engine. However, with the energy crisis of the time, GM scrapped its rotary development work and all plans for a Wankel-powered car. The XP897 GT two-rotor concept was sold to Tom Falconer, and fitted with a Mazda 13B rotary engine in 1997. In 1976, the four-rotor engine was replaced by a 400 CU in 6,600 cc Chevy V8, and the concept car was named Aravet and approved for production for 1980. The Aravet featured double folding gullwing doors. The production car would use a 350 CU in 5,700 cc V8 and priced between $15,000-$18,000. However, after chief supporters Duntoff, Bill Mitchell, and Ed Cole had retired from General Motors, David R. McClellan decided that a front-slash mid-engine car would be more economical to build and would have better performance, and canceled Aravet program. Contemporary import mid-engine cars had poor sales in the United States compared to the Datsun 240Z, which ultimately determined the Aravet's fate terminating production plans.